What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. So Minecraft Live just happened within the last hour and the new 1.19 update was announced. So this is the wild update and this is pretty insane. Uh, Minecraft Live, we of course got to watch uh, the developers and creators of Minecraft talk a lot about what they wanted in the game and what is coming to the game in this update. We have a ton of stuff to talk about today, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well so you can check out all the rest of our Minecraft content and follow along with everything we're going to be doing about the 1.19 update. So, of course, in the 1.18 update, the Caves and Cliffs Part 2, we are supposed to be getting the Deep Dark and the Warden, things like that. But, unfortunately, as they announced at the beginning of Minecraft Live, the Deep Dark update has actually been delayed. And this is actually going to be moved into the Wild update, the 1.19 update. And now, at first, this is very disappointing because, you know, as we remember in last year's Minecraft Live, the Deep Dark, there wasn't much to it other than a Dark Biome with the Warden. But, as they've showcased this year, there is a ton more stuff in this update, so it's definitely going to be a huge and very fun experience, and I really can't wait for it. Let's go ahead and check out the short trailer they released on it, and everything in it. So as we just saw, there is a ton new stuff in the deep dark. This whole entire thing is an ancient city, and that's what they're really trying to focus on in this update. It's going to be a complete ancient city underground in this deep dark area. There's of course going to be loot chests, there's uh, going to be all the Skulk family down there, lanterns, candles, everything all these deep slate variants it's definitely going to be a very insane experience and as you can see they've been showing off a lot of their skulk sensors and what's going on with those so they were a little discreet about it but there is going to be something in the center of these ancient cities that we're really going to have to look out for and they also showed off how exactly they're going to be doing the warden in this area because they want the warden to be something you're able to avoid. You wouldn't even see it at all unless you made too much noise. So now let's talk about the Skulk Catalyst. So the Skulk Catalyst is actually what creates all the Skulk around it. It'll create the Skulk sensors, the Skulk screamers, everything like that. And how it actually works is by mobs being killed around it. So it will absorb some of the XP or at least the XP that would drop from the mobs that died around it and it'll start creating skulk blocks around it. So as you just saw, two zombies died, and a skulk sensor and some of the skulk growth was made. This actually has huge applications for being able to create mob farms and harvest a lot of skulk. So if you're trying to make a lot of different things with all these skulk blocks, you're going to be able to do that by actually using mob farms and things like that to spawn more in. And as we can see here, a Silk Touch Hoe actually collects everything, and you'll be able to actually gain experience from collecting these blocks. The next block in the Skulk family that they showed off is the Skulk Shrieker, and this thing is insanely cool, and what's going to cause a lot of the noise that you're going to have to deal with in the Deep Dark. This is actually what's going to summon the Warden, and give you the darkness effect in this area. So as we just saw, as uh, King B Dogs was walking in the deep dark, he activated the Skulk Sensor, which in turn activated the Skulk Shrieker. And this darkness effect alone is terrifying. It's definitely going to be something you're going to want to watch out for. And if you activate the Skulk Shrieker too many times, it's actually going to call upon the Warden.
So what we just saw there was the first real look at the Warden since they showed it off at last year's Minecraft Live event. And what I really want to focus on here is after the Skulk Shrieker uh, actually activated, the Warden emerged from the ground. So you're not going to find uh, the Warden just wandering around until you start activating the Skulk Sensors. And then it's going to become a big problem because it will just emerge and you have to try to sneak away from it. So as we saw, King B Dogs actually did a decent job of showing off how the sneak function works. The Warden was fairly close to him but didn't quite see him. And another feature they showed off is the Warden can actually smell. So you probably heard in uh, the last clip, but the Warden was sniffing. And if it sniffs around you, it will eventually find you even if you are sneaking. So you definitely have to try to make your way uh, getting away from this thing and not actually trying to fight it. This definitely makes the Deep Dark a terrifying experience and it's going to be a great feature in Minecraft, especially since if you don't want to deal with this, you're really not going to have to. So you can obviously just avoid these areas completely or you can be sure to sneak around them, destroy the Skulk sensors, things like that, so that you actually don't have to deal with the Warden since it is insanely dangerous. And now moving on to some less scary parts about the wild update, they're doing a complete overhaul of the nature and the kind of environment of Minecraft. So as we can see here, this is uh, some of the concept art that they gave us for the Birch Forest. Uh, they're really trying to make it a very peaceful, light, vibrant place, and they're going to be doing different kinds of changes to all the biomes. So this is the swamp biome. This is a biome they're going to be focusing on a lot in this update. This is obviously concept art of what could be with the swamp, but they've actually added a lot of what's actually in this picture. So especially the fireflies, that is one of the new updates as well. And something else that they've shown off is new chess boats. And this is a huge update to Minecraft. This fixes a lot of storage problems. Obviously, it's not a complete fix to the storage problem in Minecraft, but this definitely helps a ton. Now, when you're actually going and adventuring with a boat, you're going to be able to put things in a chest on the boat. And this is great not only uh, for exploring your ocean world, your rivers, but it's going to be great when you're in aquifers as well. Next up, they also showed off the mangrove tree, which is a new tree, which also means a new type of wood to Minecraft. I think this tree is actually insanely beautiful. It has vines, and as you can see at the base there, these are roots. This is a new type of block to Minecraft, but now we're going to actually have roots that come out from the bottom of the mangrove tree. I'm definitely really excited to have this new type of wood in Minecraft, and we can see it here. It's got a bit of a reddish tint to it, and it looks very nice. It's definitely going to be a great block to build with. They didn't show off the trap door and the door. Uh, of course, those all have unique type designs, and I don't think they've actually worked those quite out yet. This is also some concept art of the mangrove swamp biome that they are creating. So a whole new biome is coming to Minecraft, and they were actually able to show some of it off here. So as you can see, this is a brand new, beautiful biome of Minecraft. It's going to be completely filled with these mangrove trees, making it very easy to get this wood. And if you notice, this is not actually dirt on the ground. This is a brand new block to the game as well. This is mud or wet dirt. And this is a huge change to the game. So mud actually has a few different mechanics to it that are going to be very interesting to see how people use. The first of which is actually it's a way to make renewable clay. So by using a water bottle on a piece of dirt, you'll turn it into mud. But by putting that mud on top of a dripstone block, it will actually slowly drip all the water out and turn into clay, which is huge because now you're going to be able to get way more bricks than you were before. And speaking of bricks, mud bricks are a new block coming to Minecraft. You can actually use the mud that you created and turn it into mud bricks. This is a great new building block. It's definitely going to make some very interesting builds. I think it looks absolutely great and it's going to be great to use, uh, especially early game when you're not able to get a lot of stone or you really just want that look. And we are also getting a brand new mob to Minecraft, which is the frog. And the frog is actually a great new mob. It's going to have some unique features based on which type of frog you actually find, but they haven't even worked out those features yet. And as we can see, frogs love to jump. They can even fall off drip leaf. They'll fall into water. And it's definitely going to be a great way to really uh, enhance the environments of Minecraft, especially the swamp. Uh, they're going to eat these new firefly mobs in the swamp. The fireflies are tiny. We really don't know a lot of details yet, other than they are great for enhancing the environment as well as the frog. 
the frogs will actually eat these, which I think will be fun to watch. It definitely adds a great immersive experience to Minecraft. Frogs are also going to have a very interesting spawn experience as well. Instead of actually be being baby frogs, they are going to be tadpoles, just like they would be in real life. It makes a lot of sense, and depending on where those tadpoles actually grow up, they will turn into different types of frogs. So obviously there's the swamp frog right here. We have the snowy frog, which is a very dark green color. It looks like a very cozy mob. And then we also have the tropical frog. So the tropical frog is when the frog is actually in the desert. And uh, Agnes actually said in Minecraft Live that this is based off a real life frog that actually is completely white in order to avoid overheating because of the very hot areas that it is in. Definitely a huge, great addition to Minecraft and a great way to start off all these biome updates. So this is also some concept art that they showed off of the wild update overall. We can see uh, the mangrove trees and also the new ancient cities that are going to be in the deep dark. Definitely an extremely cool update. We're getting a ton of new content in this and I am extremely excited. This is definitely one of the updates that I am most excited for, especially because of the introduction of the Deep Dark. And since they've taken the Deep Dark up a complete 100 notches from where it was before, it's definitely going to be a very different experience than what we originally thought it was going to be. This update is going to add a ton of new blocks, new biomes, and it's going to be insanely cool to be able to actually go and explore these new ancient cities. It's definitely going to be a whole new experience to Minecraft, and I am extremely excited for it. Now, this update, we don't have an official release date, of course, because there's a lot of work still to do with development of all this, but we can expect it sometime next year. And uh, I'd say next year, probably in late summer, we can expect this update, or depending on how the update progress actually goes, later next year. Their goal of adding new terrifying experiences to Minecraft is definitely on track because this whole deep dark looks insane, but since you can avoid these areas, it's going to be great for all players. The final thing I want to talk about today is actually the mob vote. So if you haven't already seen, the LA was the winner of the Minecraft Live mob vote, which means the LA is coming to Minecraft 1.19. They did confirm that they were going to be putting it in this new update, so we can expect this very cute mob to actually be in the next update. And although I may have actually been rooting for the Copper Golem, I think the LA is still a great mob and is going to be very interesting to see how people actually use it for all their different items sorting and for collecting all the blocks they want it to collect. For the time being, however, that is pretty much everything we know about the 1.19 update. Definitely going to be a very interesting experience, especially when we start to get snapshots for it. We are still, of course, getting snapshots for the 1.18 update, which should be coming out within the next month or two. They did say that at Minecraft Live, so it is on track and should be coming out very soon, especially since they don't have to work on the deep dark for this update now. We can expect it very soon, as they are almost done finishing it up. That is all that I have for you guys today though. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.